Hello and welcome back to Quist Play Star Sector. We are picking up right where we left off, of course, and I think we're about to do a bounty. If I'm remembering correctly, yesterday we left moments before a bounty hunt. Indeed, yes, so it's a particularly scary bounty. It has a couple of capitals in it and stuff, but I think we can handle it. There's also these other fleets here. I don't exactly know why they're here, but we're not going to worry about those guys. They won't, they won't fight us right now. Expedition Vic failed. Wait. Vic was attacking me? I didn't know Vic was attacking me. I knew I felt like I knew we were getting attacked, but not my Vic. I'm gonna uh, need to start a new Star Six run. Maybe after the drama dies down. How you doing, Fridge? Hope you're doing well. What, what are you talking? What drama? Are you talking about like the the mod or whatever? The mod that got removed? I would say that drama's fully good, died down. If that's what you're talking about. Yeah, the crash code. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much done with. I think that drama's done and done and dusted. Do we have any escorts? No, no escorts. We'll get there. Also, Miko is amazing. I have a rock solid 100 FPS at all times. That's really pog. That is very pog. Um, I'm still. I play with capped FPS at 60 or whatever. Um, but it's it is much better. The the Miko Hime update is pog. Um, I'm really really happy with it. And then in the next actual update, the game is going to Java 17, which will have a lot of like you know you know, solid consequences for folks that weren't doing any modding or whatever, so that's good. But I hope you're doing well today, Fridge. It's good to see you this morning. I hope you're well this morning. Okay, we'll capture this little dude. I don't know why I turned speed to, like, 1x for this. About 70 mods installed. I, that's, that is, that seems like the, uh, oh, whoa, disrupted my system. That's a little spooky. This seems like the, the Miko Himes is indeed helping out quite a lot if you're able to get such good FPS with all those mods. It definitely helped me out quite a lot. It was it was a, a very solid change. Why would the XO do that? It rammed like into me. I don't know what the play was. Whatever. Um. So I, I don't know how we're gonna get in there, man. The the little phase ships are really annoying for me because I'm so like weak. I can't afford to have my systems like turned off. That simply just can't can't be allowed. Um. Why can't I capture this? By the way. It's like still orange, but I'm literally sitting on it. Or maybe they have the skill and he, this guy is like controlling it? I really don't know. If this guy goes out of like the, 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 the underworld, I can do a lot of damage to him. Ah, oh, let's go. Okay, one killed, one killed. We're getting there. One kill at a time. We're getting there. <clears throat> maybe one day I'll try my hand at making a Star Sector mod. It, I bet it's, I bet it's fun. The modding community is really good. It seems the game, like the dev, puts in effort to make sure that the game is very moddable. So I bet making a mod for this could be a great time. I can't kill that guy. I want to do, but he is too, too powerful for me. Okay, now this guy, this Kronos. This is this is a good shot. Okay, let's go, let's go. I overloaded, but it's fine. No, that's a lot of missiles coming my way. Please, someone, someone save me. Okay, okay, we're chilling. All right, all right. Okay, I mean, killing one of their capitals is a big deal. <clears throat> oh, we killed their Odyssey, too. Uh, this guy did it, probably. Or I guess the Onslaught. What happened to me? Why was I 360-ing there? Um, I just I just did a little 360. I didn't mean to do that. I had no requests with that. Like, I, that wasn't my decision. Um, but either way, this fight, this fight is indeed gone, gone our way. I was a little worried about it, but not not too worried about it, but I'm happy it went well. I'm happy it went well. I thought we might lose some ships. This guy is the closest thing to dead you could possibly be. Just go over there. Just go go home. Go away. Go away. They, they will die if anyone looks at them, so how about you head on out of here? I, I was gonna I don't need to give him a retreat order or whatever, because like he's just he can just go over there. It's fine, but um effectively I want him retreated out of the combat. This guy's pretty fluxed up. I would love to finish him off here. Oh, let's go. He moved to the shields. Oh, I guess to protect from the Cordite. I was like, why would he do that? But the Cordite was there. That kind of makes sense. I don't think it makes a lot of sense, but yeah, it's a reason. Okay, how are we not done? We're not. We're indeed not done here. Like, what's left to kill? Like, an afflictor? Oh, this thing down here, I guess. Also, are we doing the thing where we're like, we're grouped up on each other? Is that what's happening here? Because I don't want that to be what's happening here. My condor went down? Okay, that's fine. 
like I, I think we might be getting like locked up on each other again, which is weird. I I don't know what causes that, but it's been happening a little bit, which is not great. You were styling on them. I appreciate that. But another plus hoping to uh, uh, make a mod so we get some sugar out of the, to the out of bounds abyssal hyperspace uh, before abyssal hyperspace was added. That 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 I mean, you can still do that. That's that sounds like a good mod, um, because I don't think there's anything else in the abyss other than like the bottom left. I could be wrong, of course, but. I think the abyss is like a lot of empty, so I think there's room for a mod like that still. Okay, 250k. Um, we'll take it. This is safe instead of could be agile. I'll take the agility, sure. Is there like a system bounty here or anything to do? No. Okay, then I'm leaving. Um, nope. Go back to Stainburn. No, they're gonna catch me. Okay, whatever. My bad. Disengage. Um, I'll just go this way then. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize I already had sustained burn on because we were, like, slow. You know, I just take advantage of this present the abyss, make it spookier. Yeah! Surprised no one did it before. And uh, fridge, no swearing. We gotta have no swearing, y'all. Come on. There's been, there's been a lot of swearing recently in the chat. We gotta, we gotta make sure we're not doing that, folks. Yeah, family friendly. Um, what else am I doing out here? Okay, nothing out here. Is there any other missions I, like, accept that I need to do? No, there's nothing we have to do, like, right now. Where we're chilling. Are, are these near enough by? Mm, that's not too far. Well, honestly, both of these aren't too far. Uh, domain refurbishment barge and a spatial laboratory. I think I've got the fuel for it, chat. I think we can make our way out there. Let me see. Hmm... Yeah, because we'll, we'll run pretty low, I think, but we have enough. A lot, of, a lot of new people happens. It's so that you used to after a bit. It's it's not even just new people. We've had we've had a lot of folks that have been here like many times before that just have been you know not just forgetting or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make sure that stops. Uh, I've always considered doing like the rules pop up for first time chatters or whatever. Um, to like be say like no swearing or whatever. But I don't know. I don't I don't like when the little rules pop up for me when I go into a chat, so I've never really wanted to do it. Because, like, I, I, I don't mind just scrolling down and, like, looking at the rules of the channel or whatever. Um, so when the rules pop up in chat, I'm like, leave me alone, let me let me chat. Um, so I've never wanted to do it, but I've always considered it. We might do it eventually. When does this just slips to mind? Yeah. It's a very normal thing to happen. Um... I don't want to e-burn because it costs a bunch of fuel. Is that a little break? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, they had a tiny break in it. The slip the slipstream is like not full there, so we could we could we could sneak out. That was perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, and Vic attacked us yesterday. Aha! There's a pirate raid going on. You know what? Honestly, I can't fight ten fleets. I'm not even gonna worry about that. That's just, the colony's just gonna suck. You're the reg uh, regular, normally forget about it, but sometimes when they do something, yeah, it happens. But I, I agree, most people are pretty good about it. Even, you know, folks that aren't here regularly, most folks are good about it. So I don't know what a spatial laboratory is. Oh, it comes with this thing, um, which I don't love. I, I don't think it's terrible, but I don't, I don't know, you know, I don't think it's the greatest. I don't, I don't really think it's great. I don't know, I've used it before. It, it makes it such that, for anyone wondering, I just skipped right over it. It makes it such that your flux bonus, your zero speed flux bonus, doesn't go away um, until you're over like half flux or something, or maybe ever. Um, but it makes the flux bonus much lower, so. You trade off the big burst of speed at zero flux for um, some speed constantly, essentially. But, yeah, I don't know. Also, level 5 captain's really pog. But I don't know how I feel about it. I don't really like it, so. I think we're going to leave that behind. Another captain. Wow, dude. Okay, so we have two level five captains from that. That's really good. Um, Ares, you know, oh, he's timid and they're aggressive. Is timid the mid one? No, timid's the bad one. How are these skills? It's the armor one. Is this the armor one as well? If energy, eh, I'm just gonna get rid of him. It's a little weird with both of these and then this too. It's it's just I. I don't want to have to like spend story points making them like better, so we'll just get rid of them. Um, I could be like keeping them for future fleets, but we'll get more captains by then. 
Uh, but this aggressive captain here. And they have the armor skills? No, no, this isn't the armor skill. Okay, but they they have some relative tankiness, like the negative hole damage taken, the negative armor damage. Uh, and then point the defense a little better. This thing being elite is just negative damage taken, so I'll take it. And then a little bit of flux dissipation. So they seem good. I thought you could swear if it's about hegemony. How are you doing, Mad Pony? Not quite. Not even hegemony do we let swears go through for. Not even the evil hegemonites. Are you not piloting this ship? Oh, is this artwork being reused by chance? Yeah, we have we have the artwork twice. Which is strange, considering how many different portraits are in all the mods. Um, there's, like, so many mods. I figured the, uh... Like, there's, like, no shot of that happening. But, you know, it's, like, one in a million. It happens. Um... Hmm. I'm considering this person instead. They both have the tankiness. This has this and this. Yeah, they can just stay. They can stay. But I, I do need a ship for our new captain there. Hmm. You know what? This is not even a meme. Um, having this be made aggressive with, like, better point defense and, like, just all the stats, you know, slightly better stats or whatever seems fine. This thing puts in, like, more work than I would expect, so sure. For now. I don't think I'm gonna have them here forever, but for now. The Great House Onslaught, not the beautiful Onslaught. The uh, Ludic Path Onslaught? What, who makes that? Also, hello to you, Mad Pony. Hope you're well. And I know, I duh, the Ludic Path makes that. But is that from a mod? Is that from Knights of Lud by chance? Because we have that, but I've not seen a Ludic Path Onslaught. That sounds cool. Hmm. It's an IBB ship. Where's that? What is it? Is it Knights of Lud? I want to get my hands on a, a Ludic Path Onslaught. But it is a, a great house Onslaught. But I'm pogging with it, dude. I think it's really good. We've got six pylums on it. We've got expanded mags built in and stuff. I think it's really fun. Ship and weapon packs. Really? I have that. Not only do I have that, I've, I've had that forever. Uh, maybe it's a late, is it a really late game uh, bounty? Because I, I haven't done the, the scarier ones. If it's one of the tougher ones, I just probably haven't done it. It's mid game, I think. I just, I'm, I, it's possible that just RNG, I have never seen it, but I, I don't recognize that. Maybe like I just uh, have seen it, but I didn't notice. With the first capital IBB bounties. Hmm. Are you sure it's still like in the game? Cause I, I I've never seen it, and I've done like I've I've gotten to the point where I fight capitals with IBB bounties, um like we've gotten Frankenstein and a few others. So I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just a coincidence, and I've never seen it. Um, so a lot of path on a lot sounds pretty sick. And it's funny. It has safety overrides. That's really cool. That sounds goofy as hell. Um, I'll, I'll have to keep my eyes peeled for that. That sounds like a good ship. I mean, maybe not a great ship, but like a ship I want in the fleet, you know? Uh, one one that could be very fun. But we are going for a great house on this playthrough, mostly, so. Your voice sounds difficult today, or different today. How are you doing, Geek? Welcome on in. You are not the first person to mention that. I'm a little bit tired today. Um, and I, I, I speak for a prof Oh, God, can we get to the... Okay, we can make it to the Coral's. I speak for a living as well as streaming. Like I, I, I streep a little. Uh, I streep. I speak a, a little bit day to day in my job. Well, more than a little bit. I speak a fair bit. So, um, if I'm if I'm ever a little tired, my voice kind of dies. Like it, it, it starts suffering. So, um, I am a little sleepy today, and as such, my voice is is suffering. Um, but it's fine. It'll it'll get normal soon enough, and I'm not feeling like under the weather or anything. Uh, my voice my just gets God, strained. Yes, yeah, I am still talking, and that's why we're like this. But yeah, so um, you, you were not the first to note it, but eventually we will um, get 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 back to sounding normal. Sounds a, a bit like a different mic now. Mic hasn't changed at all. Hopefully the audio is not like bad or anything. Um, I might need to like check that because um, it shouldn't sound like 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 the 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 mic's different. Um, are you good? Okay. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, my voice is a little rough this morning, but hopefully, hopefully it's still good. Like, the quality of the sounds are still nice. That's an horrible habitat, but I'm looking for the other thing. Hey, Krill, welcome on in. It's good to see you, Krill. Good morning to you as well. Hope you're doing well. Where's this domain refurbishment barge? Is this it? It's a kingpin. I don't want to scan either, because it angers the robots. The robots will know I've scanned. Um, so I'm trying not to scan, but... What does this do? It makes you faster? Yeah, I'm gonna take this over. Uh, cause I wanna go fast. Claim the buoy. Proceed. 
All right, so that'll make us just a little faster, which will be useful because the remnants chase us down and stuff, you know? Being, being faster than the remnants is a, a great tool. This doesn't tell me where it is, right? Just in the system. Yeah, all right. And this is the Mercium system? Okay. Hmm. We'll find it. We're burning some supplies, but it's not too many. And we have money, finally. Not a lot. Like, it's not like millions, but it's enough to, to, to pog a little bit about. Hmm. Maybe it's up by the gate? The other jump point or the gate or something? I don't know. But, I mean, if it I, if it's not there, I'm still happy to check the gate out. They tend to have... um. Also, can I fight this? I maybe could, but I don't want to. But they tend to have, uh, like, ships and stuff. No ships? It's literally nothing. All right. Hey, King of Calcium. Welcome on in. Have you seen the new Warbond? Um, I've watched, like, a video on it. But I haven't played any Helldivers since the Warbond just came out. But I was in Squab's chat yesterday. And you were talking to him a little bit about it as well. Um, and it seems Spog. New Boar Warbond seems Spog. Have you been have you been playing a fair bit since it came out? Have you unlocked the, the shotgun? I'm working my way up to the Arc 12 Blitzer. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I hope I hope you enjoy it. I, I, I want to play some more Helldivers. I've just been real busy. And have you, uh, King, have you been playing uh, Fortnite? I know you you were talking about it a little bit recently, like how you wanted to do some, uh, um, some like Fortnite gaming for the new new season. Have you been Fortniting? How's that been going? If so, hopefully getting all the dubs. Do they call them something special in Fortnite? Like are they like Crown Royales or something? Because I know in in you know um, PUBG they were they were always uh, winner winner chicken dinner. You know, I they would say that very goofily. Um, do they have anything, like, weird like that in Fortnite? Also, here, it's right by the domain or the Nexus thing. That's so evil. It's expensive on metals. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Because I thought the other ones are already pricey. So if it's even pricier, that is that is tough. New season is Greek themes, and I've played every day since. Okay, that's, I mean, there's not that many, like, themings that I, that I wouldn't have expected from Fortnite. But I, Greek, I'm assuming, like, ancient Greek or whatever. Um, like, like, like Zeus and stuff. That's, I wouldn't have expected it. So that's really cool. There's regular victories, and there's victories with, with a crown item called crown wins. I have three wins through. All right, five wins through crown. So wh what does the crown item do? Um, I just want Kratos back in the shop. Yeah, Zeus, Hades, Poseidon, all that. Oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. That's fun. So what is what does it do when you win with a crown? Also, I put my cup on my my, my mouse cord. Um, but it, is it like you have it like? Count as extra XP with it pings your location when it's true. Ah, so you can't you can't be a little freak and hide in the bushes. Um, like you can't you can't be a George Bush. You have to be a real gamer if you wear the crown. So that's cool. It's it's like it's 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 literally saying like you're you're putting on like a, a a beacon saying I'm a greater gamer than you. Come find me and I'll still win. That's very fun. I like that. That's in the game. And is a is, as a uh, is added to a county cheese and it's just flexing rights. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm glad they have that. I think stuff like that's like good. Um, I think it's like a like I would way rather get like flexing rights uh, and be like, yeah, I won like thirty crown victories than get like a new skin for achieving like the top five percent or whatever. I just think it's more fun. Also, excuse me, hiccups. Um, is your microphone sounding cleaner today, or is it just me? The the, the mic is. I'm losing my mind because you were you were like the third person to comment on the mic. And I haven't done anything, and I'm I'm like, what what does it sound like? I I don't know. I hope it's good. Also, McKing, indeed, King, King showed up to talk about some Fortnite. Actually, I brought up the Fortnite, but it's good to see you, Squabs. I hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with the mic. I moved it like very slightly, but I don't know. Uh, but good morning, man. I hope you're well. I'm just gonna make the volley get another story mod. Um, so so. Normally you can't put story mods on because of uh Okay, yeah, built-in hole mods, one of three. So I'm assuming now when I go to build in hole mods at the place, we won't have to do a um we won't have to sacrifice a story point for them until we want to do the fourth hole mod. So I wasn't sure how that would work, but that's fine, that's good. It's sounding very radio presentery. Is that a good thing? Is that is that good? That's that seems good. I just I'm, I'm very worried about the audio. It's like all I care about. So um, I'm like I'm very very worried that something's gone wrong here. But I can do my best. Uh, what's the, the 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 radio voice that people used to do? 
What's the accent called? I cross transatlantic? I can do my best transatlantic accent and pretend to be an old timey newscaster. I'm trying to think, how does it sound? Yeah, transatlantic. It's like, hello everyone. That's like Mickey Mouse a little bit. No, that wasn't it. Um that one that one missed the mark for sure as soon as I started speaking. I can't do it. I would have to hear it. I would have to hear it so, so that I could like pull the uh, accent out. I haven't heard a trans transatlantic transatlantic accent in forever. And for anyone who's wondering, um, transatlantic accents don't exist in the real world. That is a fake accent people made up to sound good on the radio. Um, it's it's kind of like my voice. Like this, this is a fake accent I've made up to sound more legible or more like you know understandable to folks not from Texas. Um, so that transatlantic isn't like people don't speak like that anywhere. That that is purely for for audio purposes on the radio, which I think is cool. Um, I'm gonna stop by this black hole because uh, it can eat us like back towards the core worlds if we need to. But I just want to stop by. Also, oh, of course, dude. ECG came out normal to get the results for the my brother. Says they let's go, dude. I'm happy to hear the ECG came out normal. Hopefully, the blood test comes back good too. I'm happy to hear that for you, squabs. Um, I I hope the blood test comes back lovely. That's like received pronunciation in the UK or BBC English. Oh, okay, yeah, is, there, is, there, is there a uh, an accent for for the BBC channel that like the news presenters do? Um, if so, I didn't know, but that's very fun. I speak BBC English generally, but in Sweden and Norwegian, my Scottish accent shows strongly. I'm like three accents in Norwegian speaking. Yeah, I could. I I definitely imagine speaking different languages is um really weird for the accents. I also get a different accent. Oh, thank you for the sip. Thank you, Mr. Tarvin. I'll take that sip. And the posture check, of course. I will take that. Um, Ungoblinify myself. But um, when I speak in Spanish, I don't try to, but I develop... I have, like, a little bit of an accent. Um, I, which is weird. Um, I, try, I, it's, I, I don't really like doing it. It's, I, I try to speak Spanish very neutrally. But sometimes I just, I say the words very accented, um, which I, I don't like doing because I don't have a Spanish accent. Like I don't, I'm, I don't have a Mexican accent. So I feel like it sounds like kind of racist when I, when I do a Mexican accent, but it's, it's genuine. It's, I've just, I grew up in, you know, in Texas. I learned Spanish when I was really young. It's, it's, it's not intentional. Um, but it, I always feel weird when my accent changes when I'm speaking Spanish. That being said, I don't really speak Spanish that much. I used to speak it more, but not so much anymore. When I was working in public, I was speaking a fair bit of it, but not as much anymore. So this is whenever I visit Japan, I speak English or Japanese. It feels right. Yeah, yeah. It's it. It's it's like I've never been to Japan. That's really cool, by the way. But it's 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 really weird. Um, it's it's very weird, especially with with um a lot of a lot of like languages like J Japanese and Chinese and like Korean. Um, that are a little bit more um, em emphatic, I think is the word, where the, the the way in which you produce the sounds matters like a lot more. Like in English, if you say the or the or like thine or whatever, it's like the same word, you know, like it, it you, you get what they're saying. But in, in other languages, like specifically how you say the word matters. I forgot we were low on supplies. Ah, OK, let's go home. I've just been rambling about languages. But yeah, so it can be really tough, especially for Mandarin. Yeah, intonation. There you go. But I know, especially in Chinese, that's that is um, they are very heavily based around like how the word is said, not just what the word is. So I don't think I can slip surge because I don't have supplies. Okay, I can slip surge. Okay, um, I don't think I'm gonna slip surge because actually there's a place to go to right here. Um, so we have no fuel, no supplies, and we lost 50k this month, which is really bad. But that's because the colony is dying. Um, that's because they they completely destroyed the colony. So. Um, that's fine. It'll, it'll, it'll go back to good eventually. It'll, it'll be happy once more in a day. At least I know, uh, well, at least Korean as a language makes complete sense. 100% phonetic because Korean is actually made by a linguist. Yes, well, K Korean wasn't made by a linguist, I believe. Korean was made by a, a group of linguists, but, I mean, linguist is like a tough word for it because it was like 14, the year like 1400 or whatever. Um, you know, they didn't really have like scientists back then in the way that we understand them. Um, but yeah, I do know that. It, uh, King Sejong, um, King Sojong, I don't, I don't really know how to say the word, um, but wanted their own language. Chinese was too hard uh, to like learn. A lot of the, like common folks weren't weren't able to, to be literate in Korea because Chinese was a very difficult language to learn. So 
the king of Korea at the time, uh, like requested or whatever that uh, that a language be developed. So they made a, a, a like scientists got together and made a language. Um, and as a result, it is indeed very, very like strong rules. Like the rules in uh, the Korean language like make a lot of sense. Because like the rules in English don't make any damn sense, you know? English is like, yeah, we just kind of put this J here for some reason. And you're like, what? But the, the rules of the Korean language are very like strict, um, which I appreciate. Because like, you know, languages are tough, <laughs> tough enough on their own. The girl from from Hong Kong, she said the same word like eight times, but I was like, yeah, this means like sixteen different things. Yeah, it's it's like um, it's a very different language. Chinese is crazy. How 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 like, how how, just how different words can be based on like how they're said, and you know, there's stuff like that in English. You know, you could be like, you know, you could say something like, you know, you want to, I don't know, I can't think of something, but you know, how you put an intonation on the word could matter quite a lot, but. Not, not to the same degree at which Chinese allows for, for expression via just the how you say the word. I think it's very, very cool. Um, I guess we'll go down here to Three Sisters, then over to Zen, because I think we need all the supplies. Or why are you... Because uh, the black market, leave me alone, dude. How much do you like me? Are we chill with Tritax still? I think so. I, I, I should have looked just there. I meant to, and I didn't see it. Where's Tritac? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. They don't hate me or anything. Fine language industry. Yes, yeah, yeah. They, they, English is a mess, man. English is a very messy language. I agree with that. Oh, come on. Um, so we're just here to pick up stuff. And then I don't know how long it's going to take, but eventually the colony will stop taking all my money from me. We're going to lose a lot of money this month. But eventually this will get sorted. We just need a little bit of stability. It's disrupted for 30 days. So in like a month. In a month, we'll I think we'll be back to making some money. Um, and the, again, it's it's only so, so sad right now because the pirates killed us. Like, it, it, it's a profitable colony. It's a fine place to be. It's just, uh, you know, um, what am I saying? It's just, it's just like suffering right now. But it'll be fine. Time will, time will return it to a good state. So I'm not too worried about it. I just couldn't handle 10 pirate fleets, so. Uh, why are you pursuing my fleet? Oh, it's because they're gonna scan me as well, dude. It's so annoying. <laughs> so leave me alone, dude. Um, but either way, uh, the colony threats, that's what I was saying there. Um, it's low again. Because of the raid happened, it, it goes like all the way down, so. Um, it'll be a while before we get another issue, but there will be another issue coming. So I'm hoping that we can like, you know, like prepare for it, like be more defensible by the time the next issue arises. Like, the colony will have, like, a star fortress, hopefully, and I will have, like, a, a fleet capable of defending. Maybe even, like, the ability to produce a fleet, you know? Um, like, to hire one, because right now I literally can't hire a fleet to defend. Um, like, I just, I just can't. It, I have 100 hire points, and that's it, which is, like, none. So, hopefully by the time the next, like, raid comes through, we're, we're, we're well prepared. All right, we'll take all the fuel. 1,400 supplies should be enough. Yeah, we're, we're repaired and stuff, so... Um, we made it. We got we got supplies. We got fuel. This isn't like capped on fuel, but it's enough to run around the core worlds. So I think I'm gonna just go to like Ryan and try to get a job. I think I think that's our best play. It's just trying to get a, a nearby job. Um, maybe we could just do a bounty if there's a bounty like in in like near the core worlds or in the core worlds, like a system bounty. We'll check. We'll check. I'm gonna test the model of Mokratos Leviathan X. We can apprentice for the hot axe in the head with a wooden haft. To figure out how to do the burning they have to yeah I, that sounds that sounds tough do you do like metallurgy king is this something you're familiar with um new two neutron stars is not bad uh is there okay so let's check is there a bounty here mm, albari what are you doing here it's not that scary for 200k yellow primate star in the albari constellation dang well there's three of them no there's only one Oh, no, there is two. Okay. Is this all Albari? No, okay, okay. So there's just two. Yeah. Um. All oh, this double bounty. I wish we were over there already. If we had gone right when these bounties showed up, that would be so much money, but whatever. Here we are. Um. So yeah, we'll go here and here and see if, if this person's here and we'll take him out. This is very fightable for 200 grand, so we'll do this for sure. This is worth it. My brother was a panel meter for 40 years, and I submitted my dissertation for my doctor on Monday this week. Oh, really? That's Pog King! Um, in, in metallurgy, I'm assuming? 
That's amazing. Um, my background is aerospace and ordnance. Wow, dude. Well, I, I, I'm, I, I'm happy to... I hope your dissertation gets accepted. Um, is accepted the correct word there even? I don't know. But I hope I hope that goes well for you. And it is a desert world in the Escondido, or Escondido system, so they're here. Well, that's an arid world. There we go. Barren desert? Wait, I thought it was a desert world. Oh, it's a barren desert. Okay. As good as any. And I appreciate it. Oh, let's go. Hey, everybody. Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.